Alrighty, hello guys, welcome me faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with our hardcore career mode series, and today we're continuing on with our truck. So this thing right here is of course meant to be a heavy lifting truck, or a heavy pulling truck, etc, etc. It should be able to do multiple, um, in fact lots of jobs, um, including carrying containers, carrying fuel, etc, etc, without actually needing a trailer. With that being said, it should also be able to float, so that'd be pretty awesome. But um, we haven't tested that yet, so we'll have to test it. But what I want to do first is actually get this thing moving. So, let's go ahead and add some motors to it today and see if we can actually move it. Alright, so first things first then, let's go to the underside and figure out where our wheels are and what we need to do. So, here's some wheels, let's go ahead and delete these and bring it in. We are going to have to delete, like, a row of um, thingies in order to do this, but that's fine. We're going to delete these guys too. That's okay. And delete those guys too. Right. Pipes. Here we go. So we're going to have to use enclosed ones uh, for the first bit. For the first bit. Excellent. Now we're going to send it down the middle, forwards, like so, using these guys to bring it all the way to there. And then we're going to go ahead and add a cross section. There we go. And that's going to go right there, like so. Excellent. We'll then bring this inside of here, do do do, where we'll swap to these kinds of pipes, and we'll figure it out from there. So these guys are actually going to be powered by, uh, I want to say four motors. Gearboxes need to be used too, so that's going to go there. That's going to go there, and on each of these, we're going to make these three to one, and three to one. There you go, and three to one. There we go, and three to one. Who guessed it? We're then going to go ahead and get ourselves a motor and attach it to there. And at the minute, this will be four-wheel drive at the front. However, there is a bit of a problem with this. We need to be able to turn these wheels. And at the minute, we can't really do it. Also, I'm going to extend these out too, just before we do anything else. I'm going to extend these. One there and one there. And we're going to do this. There we go. That's pretty weird. But actually, we can fit more. So let's do it. There we go. I think these ones can actually come in further too, now that I think about it. Yeah, actually, this will make it look way better on the back. There we go, delete those guys. Delete these ones, and these ones, and do this. There we go, and bring it upwards. Way, there we go. Alright, fill in all these middle sections, and this should end up looking a lot better than it did, so I'm happy with that. It's one in, in fact. Let's have a little look. Yeah, they fit a lot more. They're a bit jaggedy, but they do fit a lot more. Excellent. I'm loving this so far. But yeah, at the minute, we are actually only front-wheel drive. That is that is actually okay. We're now going to go to the rear, and we're going to try and figure out where to put the motors for these ones. Because honestly, they can't really go where we want them. Uh, not really, anyway. Delete those guys, delete those guys, delete those guys. Delete all the middle. Um, unfortunately, that does mean we're getting rid of a lot of batteries. Um, but that's okay for right now, I think. Also, I didn't add this bit back in. So we're going to do that, and we're going to do this. Way interesting. Uh, in fact, actually, what we should do is attach this to together. Yeah. All right. Only in the middle. There we go. Delete those. Do this across the middle right there. And I'm going to leave it somewhat like this. I know it might be weird, but it's a little bit of extra buoyancy that we can get out of this. So I'm going <laughs> to. There we go. All right. Cool. So the problem is uh, we honestly need a motor that can power our propeller. If we were to add a propeller to this thing. Now, I don't have anywhere to put one of those just yet. So we'll have to wait for now. But, oh, actually, the motor can go in here. We'll do that after. So, what we're going to do is attach all of these guys together first. So pipes, let's go ahead and do it, shall we? Straight pipes. So it's going to have to come off each of these like so anyway. So that's all good. We're then going to get one of these T-pieces on here. There we go. A T-piece on here. And we're going to extend this backwards. We're going to extend this forwards. Um, we're then going to go upwards from there. Do we have a piece that does that? We do. So it's this one. We need this to go here like this, which means it comes out the top, and that is fine. Excellent. We're then going to go ahead and attach this to here like so. And we're going to power this one by four electric motors. I think that's fine. Gearboxes. So that's going to go there. That's going to go there. We need our motors, and we'll put them on. There's that, and there's that interestingly enough this is hopefully gonna work all right good so we're gonna make all of these three to one uh like we we did before previously and hopefully this will push us along at a decent speed yeah 
All right, the next thing, inverters. We're going to have the last wheel's turn, and we're going to have the, the front wheel's turn, too. So we're going to need two inverters, I think. There we go. In fact, do it there and there. So what this is going to do is this is going to be attached to the steering on this side. Same with this one. Steering and steering. We're going to attach it to A and D. So steering on this one. Attach it to that. Steering on this one. Excellent. We're then going to do steering on this one. Yeah, and we're going to have the last two wheels turning with it. Hopefully that makes some sense. We're also then going to attach this to there. And that does mean we only needed one of these. All right, should we see how, see how that works, I guess? We also need to add ladders and stuff to the side of this, because at the minute I can't get in. So yeah, ladders are going to go right here. Um, da -da 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 -da. One there and one there. In fact, do it on both. Here we go. So right here and right here. Ladder. There we go, ladders. Excellent, put it there and there. That's very nice. Now we can climb up and in. And let's see how this goes. Here we go. So we're on. We're in. Turn the wheels. They're inverted completely the wrong way. That's very annoying. I need to switch all of those. But this is working how I want it to. So that's good. Alright, so what do we actually need to work on now? I think what we actually desperately need is some brakes on this thing. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and brake on there, brake on there, brake on there, brake on there. Uh, in fact, we're going to put brakes on literally every single one of these. And that should be A-OK. -okay. So hopefully that's brakes. Yes, it is. Brakes, yes. Brakes, yes. Brakes, yes. Excellent. So now we've got full-on brakes on this thing. That is very nice. Electricity needs to be sent through literally everything. So I'm going to quickly attach everything. And then I'll be back with you guys in a second. And there we go. Everything is connected to the batteries. That is very nice. The only problem that I've got with this, and it is quite a big problem, uh, I don't think we've got enough batteries, uh, to be honest. So we're going to have a little look, see if we can put some more batteries in here somewhere. Uh, I am thinking, like, along this edge, maybe we could add two. We could add five, actually. There we go. Five batteries. Excellent. Let's attach these to the, uh, the thing. There we go. Uh, and what this allows us to do is is just have more more power. We're then going to go to the rear, and we're going to do the same thing on this side. Uh, so, yep, yeah, that's going to go there, there. Oh, actually, they're going to be a different way around. That's a weird way of doing it, but sure. There we go, and there we go. Very nice. So they're all attached. I'm trying to attach them with, like, many different points, so that if we damage anywhere, it is still fine. That's my, my mission, anyway. All right, the other thing that I wanted to do was actually uh, fill in this little bit right here. Go ahead and go to the underside and delete most of this. Uh, in fact, pretty much all of this. There you go. Grab some batteries and whack them in all the way across here. There we go. We're then going to do these ones. One, two, three, and four. That's fantastic. That is a hell of a lot more batteries uh, to be added to the system. Yeah, and they're really low. So I want these batteries to be quite low so that... Um, if we are deciding that we are going to put this in the water, um, its center of mass is quite low. So tipping over will not be something that, like, occurs very much. So that's, that's what my plan is anyway. Uh, as well as that, actually, it's for carrying stuff on the back too. And the center of mass being lower, the better. Alright, it's time. We're going to go ahead and put some, uh, WNSs on to, uh, the motors. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go, those guys are all in. This one, this one, this one, and this one. And we're also going to put some dials in here as well. So let me do that real quick. Dial. Let's go. So they're going to go here. That's fine. So one, two, and three. We're going to have battery. And speed. And I don't know what this one's going to be, actually. So we'll leave that empty for now. But yeah, we need a speedo. So let me go ahead and grab one of those. Then need a speed sensor. Whack it in right here. There we go. Uh, also, if you're wondering why there's no batteries in the front, um, the reason being is because I don't want the weight to be in here because we've already got the cab uh, and that's already quite heavy. So, um, yeah. But anyway, it should be able to drive now. So let's get inside and move it and see if it does. Here we go. Yeah, it does move. Oh, and it moves quite fast too. Oh, yeah, this is good. Oh, this is brilliant, actually. Look at it go. Arr, skirt, skirt. I like the rear wheel steering too. It'll allow us to turn corners much nicer. I'm actually really, really happy with that. That's so good. All right, so what else do we actually want to do today then? I feel like more batteries would be a good idea, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, I will put some in the front because it does make sense to have some there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and smack that in there and there. Am I not doing this on both sides? That's really annoying. Hang on, undo, 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 undo. 
delete this whole row. One, two, three. Oh. I can't actually attach. Oh, there we go. Can't attach that one on, but I will be able to if I do this. Hey, there we go. Okay. I want it to be the same way as every other one because, you know, why not? There we go. Good. We're going to go inside and we're going to delete that block because it doesn't need to be there. But yes, we're going to attach all the electricity from these guys uh, to each other as well. I need the bigger batteries as soon as we can, but um, we'll see. All right, there we go. Attach that to there. Attach this to here. And honestly, we're going to attach this to the rest of the batteries because otherwise, problems. All right, there we go. Nice. I'm loving this. This is cool. All right, time to add a little bit of decoration. Well, actually, I say decoration. These are actually extremely useful. So we're going to go ahead and smack in a bunch of these. In fact, it's actually going to be put in further back. Yep, that's pretty weird, but I like it. We're going to put in two right in front of it as well, right there. And there we go. That's good. We're then going to go to the side. We're going to attach one onto here. Uh, we're going to do it sideways, actually, so like that. We're going to do this one as well, sideways as well. That's very nice. And honestly, we're going to do two inside of each of these. So that there and that there. Very good and very good. And that is fine. On the deck, we should also do like a lot of these as well. So we're going to. So here we go. One there. I don't know how far between them. Let's say three. Yeah, let's say three. And we'll just have loads. We might as well. There's there's no reason not to. So there you go. Just in case we need to tie down something, uh, we can. All right, there we go. And weirdly... We actually have managed to fit it all the way to the end. That's fantastic. That's very good. Still don't know what color I want this to be. Uh, so we need to come up with that. I want some paintable signs to make it look nicer too. Because I'll put like a, a logo or something here. That'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, this is actually looking pretty pretty nice so far. All right. The other thing that I wanted to do was obviously add a, uh, a propeller and stuff like that to allow it to move underwater. Now, is that going to work? Is that going to be okay? Who knows? Um, let's go ahead and put it right in the middle, right here. Propellers are going to go directly on there. Okay, so they're going to go into this system, system, uh, just like this. I want them to be somewhat hidden, like in there. There we go. But they're quite high. I want them to be lower than that. So we're going to delete this and this. Oh, uh, but then they, they, they don't work there. That's not going to work. It's not. That's not going to work the way that I want it to. In fact, none of it is if uh, we put them there. I can put them underneath, actually. Realistically, this is still fine. So we'll put them there. We'll have them go into... In fact, their motor can just be on the outside. That is okay. So grab this. Put it on there. Motor is going to go directly on here, like this. And that's fine. Okay, three to one. Let's go. Da -da 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 -da. Three to one. Good. Three to one on this one as well. Excellent. And that is actually fine, I do believe. That's okay. Um, we need a way of making those actually work now, but that's okay. We also need a rudder too. We do. We actually need a rudder. Um, which is something that will not really fit in with my build at all. But we can, we can go for it. Here we go. Let's go ahead and attach that to there. And right there as well. And hopefully there's no hole in the back. I don't think there is. Yeah. Oh, but they're quite low. That's a problem. They'll hit off the ground. That's not really something that you want. So, delete this and this and this. There you go. Make sure we can fit this in a little bit higher. There we go. This and this and this. And a little bit higher right there as well. Yeah. I think that's a better idea, I think. Pretty sure. Pretty sure we're going to then do this right here and this right here. And that is all good. So, with that being said, up and down is now going to control our um, our motors for swimming. I hit swimming for uh, thingy. Yeah, no, this works. Okay, down to there. Attach it under there. Fantastic. Do these guys as well and these guys as well. And the other thing, I think steering is actually going to be attached to these guys. I think that'll be okay. Yeah, sure, why not? Guys, I'm loving this. Um, we now need to see if it actually swims. <laughs> swims. That's not really what I wanted to say. I don't mean swims, but you know, whatever. Anyway, jump inside. Let's go ahead and get this thing moving. We're going to drive down to where we think it might be shallow enough to drive in. Down here. Uh, and we'll see what happens from there. Let's go. Alright, so uh, we're going to go ahead and continue through this ranch. Apparently this is a ranch, I guess. I don't know. Um, I need to be looking at sort of our ground clearance as we go. Obviously, there are a few things quite close to the ground, including a lot of batteries. Um, but here we are. We are at the ocean now. 
Interesting. Okay. Are you guys ready for this? Do you think it's going to float or do you think it's going to swim? Swim? I mean sink. That's what I meant. All right. Actually, be a good idea to close this so I don't die. There we go. Okay, we have rope anchors attached to this as well, just in case we need to bring over another vehicle to rescue it. But let's see what happens. Is it going to float or not? Alright, the front doesn't look like it. Oh. Alright, I'm driving in a little bit more. Okay. We're running on our propellers now on the rear. We're a little bit heavy on the rear and not very... Oh. Yeah, I would say that that's not really floating as well as you'd want it to. Look at it. <laughs> nice. Wow. All right, I'm going to drive straight back out because that is, yeah, that's not really working too well. So it turns out we're actually a little bit too heavy for that right now. We need to work on that though because I do want this thing to float eventually. But anyway, um, I think I'm actually going to end this video here for now. We've got this thing moving, which is awesome. Uh, in the next one, we'll probably paint it or something like that. Uh, and then work on trying to make it float a little bit better, but um, we'll see. Anyway, for right now, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.